figure out fine with a one cross Making up his inside a human form His rags provide out in the weather Well, since the last album, Up From The Deep, which came out in 2010, we've sort of gradually been putting together new material and writing new songs and new tunes and stuff. So I guess once you've released an album, you ha you've got the novelty of about six months of, oh, a new album, and then after that, then you kind of start thinking about the next one and, you know, difficult third album, what we're going to do and what do we want it to sound like and what, what's going to go on it. So we started thinking about um, all the songs and stuff, but we also thought it would be nice to have something that's a bit of a different approach this time because because uh, we'd done the last two records, recorded them ourselves and had somebody else mix it. Uh, so we thought if we do that again it could end up just sounding the same as the last two. So let's do something a bit different for this third one. And, uh, yeah, Julian Simmons was uh, the producer. We came across him because um, once we decided that we wanted to work with somebody else we, we started doing a bit of research and we specifically wanted somebody who wasn't necessarily in the folk sort of idiom so we uh, sort of looked around and, and we were just really impressed with Julian's all the previous things that he'd done and there was a real mix of stuff as well musically um, so we thought he was obviously quite adaptable in terms of genre the body of a high rank man, a high rank man with a stone so plain, buried in a cemetery in Kensal Green in Victoria's reign. Tell me your secret, Dr. Jane. Being a duo, we've got a lot more scope for having extra things on an album. I suppose if you're playing as a band, then you there's maybe not so much room for extra bits to go in but we uh, yeah we've been uh, very fortunate in the, the people that we've managed to uh, convince to come and play on this new album fantastic players uh, we've had Tom Chapman playing drums and percussion who's uh, known for playing with the old dance school and the urban folk quartet and uh, we particularly wanted him because he's he's quite unique in his setup and the sort of things he can play we had Ben Nichols come in and play double bass for us and we'd seen him play with uh, Seth Lakeman's band. As a duo we're not used to having that as part of our sound. We had Jamie kind of adds in some of the bass lines with his octave pedal on his guitar and, and does quite a lot of the percussive stuff so it's all kind of implied in our arrangements live. Very pleased to have Larkin Poe playing on the album uh, from Georgia, playing lap steel and mandolin and vocals on some of the tracks. Been listening to them and seeing them live a couple of times, and and we felt you know really lucky to be able to do a, like an email session with them and send the stuff over. Julian, he's come up with a lot of ideas that we wouldn't have thought of um, arrangement wise and structure wise and yeah and sort of texture wise as well. Is So on this album we've got a mix of songs and tunes, mainly original songs as on in previous albums and one traditional song as well. You know, it's still it's still the same the root of what we do is, you know, we're really big on stories and, and we like a good story and uh, and things that are, you know, personal as well, personal family stories and things like that. So quite diverse subject matter on this new record. This album's a step up from the last one, definitely. Um, both musically and sort of audibly as well in terms of the production. He fails at the only thing he knows. 